All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Kalani, and I'm from The Window, and this is the Canon 7D training tutorial. The 7D is what's known as a DSLR. DSLRs are capable in capturing stills and film, but in this tutorial, we'll be going over the film portion of this camera. To start with any camera, you need power for it. This camera, the battery is located underneath. In order to put the battery in, you have to flip the switch, open up the cartridge, plug in the battery, close it, and then turn it on, and then you have power. This camera records onto what's known as a CF card or compact flash. The cartridge is located on the handle grip of the camera. You put the card inside and close it up. Also to release it, there's a little button to the right of it. You can press that down and the card will pop out. So in this kit, this camera comes with the 18 to 200 millimeter lens. In order to connect the lens to the camera, there are two white dots one dot on the actual camera itself and one on the lens. To put the lens onto the camera, you have to connect the dots, put it on, and then spin the lens until it makes a click. Then you're locked in. There are two functions in focusing a camera. There's autofocus and manual focus. Autofocus is when the camera handles all the focusing internally. Manual focus is when you, as the shooter, handles the focus. There's a lock at the bottom of the lens, which locks and unlocks the zoom for the camera. If you flip it, then you'll be able to zoom the camera in and out. For this camera, there are two ways to white balance. Custom white balance and auto white balance. You must first take a picture of something white in the atmosphere that you're in. From there, you can go into your menu, select custom white balance, and choose the picture of your white image. For auto white balance, you can select on the top LCD screen. There are four buttons on top of the LCD screen and the button all the way to the left, labeled WB for white balance. If you select that, a menu on your main LCD screen will appear. From there, just select AWB for auto white balance. So before you start recording, you have to know what your recording format will be. You're gonna have to go into the menu, go to your fourth tab. Now you're given four options. 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. 1920, 1080, 24 frames per second. 1280, 720, 60 frames, or 640 by 480, 60 frames. The two main record formats that you'll be filming in will either be 1920, 1080, 30 frames, or 1920 by 1080, 24 frames. Now in order to change your shutter speed, there is a knob at the top handle of the camera. Just spin the knob in order to, to change your shutter speed. Now remember, your shutter speed has to be at least double that of what your frame rate is. In order to change your ISO, there's a button at the top LCD of the camera. Select that, and on your main monitor will be a wide variety of different ISOs. From there, you can select whichever you prefer. And if you don't want to select your ISO, just select auto and the camera will do the work for you. This is how you stop and start record for the 7D. Hey guys, James here from the technical services window. I'm gonna go over your aperture or f-stop and that's adjusted here by this scroll wheel on the back of your camera. You can also see the number change as I scroll it on the LCD monitor up here. The second number will change as I scroll it. I've done a little example so you guys can see what it looks like when you're adjusting your aperture. It's very important to understand the difference between your aperture your shutter speed, and also your ISO. ISO, remember, is this button here. Uh, and that's gonna change your light sensitivity. So when you go through that, you can scroll through the numbers and choose that there. First, we're gonna talk about how to set up audio with a wireless lavalier kit. You have a transmitter and you have a receiver. The transmitter is also known as the body pack. 
which will go onto your subject and have the lavalier mic attached to it. And the receiver will mount on top of your camera. You are going to need AA batteries for each of these items. We don't provide them at the technical services window. Once you have both of your devices on, you need to make sure both of them are set to the same channel. Once they're set to the same channel, both LED lights will light up green. This is the cable you're going to use to attach the receiver to your camera. It's called a mini to mini cable. With a 7D, you're given the option to record to the H4N, which does require you to sync up audio and video in post because you are recording to two different devices. The H4N can use the wireless kit as well, but instead of using the mini to mini cable, you're going to be using the mini to XLR. So here are the things you need to have before you start recording to your H4N. You're gonna to need to make sure you have an SD card which goes into this side panel right here. And you need to make sure you have two AA batteries which goes into the battery chamber in the back. This is how you power on the H4N. It does take a few minutes sometimes. to use the XLR inputs to make sure that the input is on one and two. If you want to use the mics, just make sure you select mic and that is highlighted red. This is how you check your levels. You press the record button once and you will see the levels moving. You want them to be about 75% of the way up the bar. To record, you simply press the record button once more. The timer is on and you have started recording. Remember, the 7D is a semi-professional camera, so there are many different ways to access the many different things that I've talked to you about in this tutorial. My suggestion to you would be to rent the camera out as much as possible and learn your equipment. Thanks for watching our video. We hope this was helpful and provided all the information you need to know in order to pass the Canon 7D test.